Hey, God bless you. I hope your day is going well. I just wanted to give you a dream and, um, and a message. Um, someone close to me, I don't think they want me to say who they are, but that's not important. They had a dream that, um, they were in a sea. They were in the sea with many other people. And there was a beast in the sea. And everyone was trying to escape the beast. They saw it as like a sea monster. And they said that um, it was purple. So we know about the beast in the sea. And the woman wearing purple. Um, so I believe this was indicating that. They were in the tribulation. And then. Um, the scene changed. And they were walking next to some train tracks. And they knew that I had been dead for some time. For a little time I had been dead. Um, that was probably indicative of the rapture. Um, they ran into three people that they talked to. And the three names were Karen... Kara and Gail. One of those um, means purity. One of the names means um, father's joy, or joy of the of their father, and one of them means beloved by their father. So. Anyway, one of them tells um, tells this person to that they need to move on because it's been a month already since I've been since I've been dead, and that was pretty much I think the end of the dream. So I'm going to tell you kind of what I think about this, and it's going to. It'll bridge me into the message that I feel I'm supposed to give you. This person was, um, they were left in the tribulation, but it wasn't because the father didn't view them as pure. And it wasn't because he didn't take joy in them. And it wasn't because he didn't love them. You see, they were beloved by the Father. They were the joy of their Father, and they were purity. But they were there because they still had a job to do. Another person that I know well... Um, had a dream the next night, the night after this dream occurred, about her friend dying. And her friend is a is a is a strong Christian. I you know, I think there's a people being prepared. So the bride has been prepared for the bride's lot. For the bride's portion. The bride has been prepared for that. But there's another segment now being prepared. For their portion. There are saints in the tribulation. There are those who love God. And who serve God during the tribulation. There are remnant. There are people. Rising up. That God is preparing. So. What I want to say is, I want to encourage you about your loved ones. Because I know that, I know that we don't want to think about those that we love going through hardships. But what I want to encourage you with is that they're in the Father's hands and that and that God is in total control. 
And that when he gives someone a job, when he gives someone a portion, he prepares them for that job and that portion. And he graces them with the ability to handle it. And he gives them the tools that they need. And he gives them the portion of his spirit that they need. And he gives them guidance. And he puts people in their path to give them messages and encouragement. If you have loved ones that um, that you know their portion is different from yours, I want you to be encouraged and know that the Father is already preparing them and that they are loved by Him and that they are His joy. And that by the blood of the Lamb they are pure. God sees the finished product. He doesn't see us for what we are now. But he sees us for what we will be. And there's a certain process. That each of us has to go through. In order to become what we are supposed to be in the end. And that process looks different for different people for some of us that process started earlier and we're now brought to a point where we're like the barley and we can just be held in the wind and the and the the winnowing process can be done without a tribulum. But for others, the work started later because there's a certain job for them to do and because the process needed to look a little different. And... And they're going to go through some some hardships in order to become what they're supposed to become. But but in the end, in the end, it's for the glory of the kingdom. And in the end, they will appreciate the process. And one day it'll all be revealed and one day we'll understand why the process needed to happen the way that it did. But right now we have to take comfort in knowing that God knows. That he knows what process each of us needs to go through. And that he works out all things for our good. And that he is faithful to complete what he starts. There is a remnant being prepared. There are people being prepared right now. People that we know. People that we love. Whose portion is different than ours. But the portion is part of the perfect plan for them. So I want you to be encouraged about that. I don't think we need to worry about those who will be left to, to do that work? Who will be left to do that job? I don't think we need to worry because we know how good our God is. And how full of love He is. And that He is the ultimate Father and that and that and that He wants what is best for His children. I was um, thinking last night about 
what the wedding supper of the lamb will look like. Can you imagine what it will be like? I wonder what it'll sound like. Imagine beautiful music. What it'll smell like. What it'll taste like. I imagine like dancing colors and smells that surpass our understanding and foods that we've never seen before. I imagine like amazing performances. Imagine the angels flying above us, laying food on the table, Jesus telling us jokes, it would be something so amazing we can't even imagine it. Anyway, I love you all, and um, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, I also wanted to say, um, I hope none of you are disappointed about, uh, about Ascension Day. I told you I was shown in a dream. Um, I was shown in a dream that we were about like a week or two before um, Pentecost. And in the dream, I believed that the rapture was at Pentecost, but I heard a trumpet and I was ready, but I was surprised because it wasn't Pentecost. And, and then I saw that the, the trumpet sound was coming from a person with a bullhorn and it wasn't the real thing. And, um, I knew in the dream that that was happening, uh, like a week or two or like a week and a half before Pentecost which is this time right now so um, it's good for it's good it's good for us for those for those trumpet sounds to come that they just they keep us on our toes you know they keep us ready but um, I'm still looking at Pentecost that's still where, where my heart's at not saying that'll be the day for sure. Um, none of us know. I'm just, I'm just encouraging you that the day's coming really soon, and I don't want you to be discouraged. Um, those of you that uh, that thought today would be the day, take heart. Take heart. All right. God bless you.